Hello and welcome to this tutorial video. For this tutorial we'll be running through the solar PV section. This will include the design calculations and handover certificate. For the solar PV section you will not need to complete the building calculation section and therefore can move straight into the technologies area. Once you go into the solar PV section we'll then have two options for design calculations and handover certificate. You'll first of all need to start with the design calculations. This starts off with collecting some details about the installation. Firstly, the surveyor details for surveyor name and survey date. These are not compulsory fields as they don't have a red asterisk by them, but you can add in that information if you wish. Then goes on some panel information for manufacturer, model and type for the panels. And then moves on to some building information. The postcode zone will be pulled in automatically for you based on the postcode you've input on the project details section then asked to complete some drop down options. Firstly, the building use for domestic, commercial or standalone, the building type, retrofit, new build or NA. NA is for a standalone system. You then have an option to select how you've calculated these values, either on site measurements or remote estimation. This will affect which disclaimer is pulled in for you later on from, from the project documents. Then asked to state the energy efficiency rating of the building. We've got a drop down option for the different ratings. Um, to claim the higher rate of uh, feeding tariffs, the property should have a rating of D or above. If the property starts off with a rating of um, E or below um, and the installation will increase it to a D rating, you'll then need to have another EPC completed to state the increase in rating and therefore could still apply for the higher rate of feeding tariff. We're then asked to state the amount of energy that will be exported. This is set to default to 50% because any install up to 30 kilowatts will be deemed a 50-50 split for the energy. However, we've left this so you can, add, you can edit it um, as it may be applicable for some larger commercial projects that more energy will be used either on site or exported. So there is a drop down option for you to select a different percentage. If it's a system below 30 kilowatts, then it, it is deemed a 50-50 split. You then have the question about the shading and if there's any within 10 metres of the installation and that's just a simple yes or no answer. The final part on this section is the financial information. Firstly the feed and tariff rate. At the time of recording this video the feed and tariff rate for a system up to 4 kilowatts was 12.47 pence and the export rate was 4.85 pence. If you need to check the most up-to-date figures, please go to the Ofgem website or for the rate for systems higher than 4 kilowatts as well. Um, you're also asked for the cost of electricity. This should be taken from the homeowner's energy bills for an exact figure. We've based the 14 pence on the averages given on the Energy Saving Trust website. You then have uh, an option to add the installation cost. Once you've completed all those sections, press the next button so the information is saved for you. You then have uh, an option to add some strings which will allow you to do the um, shade analysis. We've added two examples here already, um, which but we'll add a new string to give you an example of the process. The initial stage is to let, select whether you have a shading image or no shading image. If you do have a shading image, you can upload it in this section and it will sit behind the sun path diagram to help your analysis. If you are using an image, it should be taken from as close to the base of the array as possible, either through an upstairs window or preferably on the roof as close to the array as possible and should be facing due south, regardless of the orientation of the panels. The horizon line should also run along the bottom of the image so that the sun path diagram sits at the right position. If you don't have an image to upload, you can select the no shading image option and this will take you through to the Sunpath diagram with the white plain background sat behind it. The first stage of the shade analysis is to add a shade circle. In this section you have an option to add up to three shade circles. If there is shading within 10 metres, then a shade circle would need to be applied. So you just click on the sun symbol and a shade circle will appear for you. You can move this along the bottom of the sun path diagram. 
and also extend the size of the circle to reflect the height of the object obstructing the sun path. The shade circle should have a radius equal to the height of the object, so to adjust this we can, we can do so. As I said before, you can up, add up to three shade circles, so just continue to click on the symbols when you need to add another one. Once you're happy with that stage, click the next button and it will save that for you. The next stage is to add some extra details about the install. Firstly, the orientation of the panels. This is a variation from south, so if the roof is south facing, then it would be 0 degrees. If it's east or west, it would be 90 degrees. Or if it's southeast, southwest, it would be 45 degrees. There's examples for you. Also, the inclination. So it's the variation from horizon. This is essentially the angle of the roof. The optimal angle for solar power collection in the UK is 35 degrees. However, most roofs in the UK have a typical angle of 40 degrees. You should collect an exact estimation of this though, based on the, the property you're installing on. Then you need to add the number of panels and the total install capacity of the PV string. So this is the, the capacity of the string as a whole rather than the individual panels and should be entered in kilowatts. Then have a number of shaded cells. You can't add the information directly into it. You need to select the shaded cells on the sun path diagram. So any areas that are affected by shade, just click on the cell that would be affected. And this will then increase the number of shaded cells for you here. Once you have with all that information, press save and it'll save that information for you. And we'll take you back to the shading section. As you can see, there's three strings so far added and you can add up to four strings. Once you're happy with all that information, just press the next button. And it'll take you through to the design calculations area and give you a summary of the information input and also some calculated figures about the financial benefits and each individual string as well. Once you're happy with all that information, you can press the print button and it'll open a PDF version of the results for you as well, which you can save for your project. And also press the back chevron button to go back to the PV menu and select the handover certificate. A lot of this information will be pre-populated for you based on previous sections. If you'd like the company details to be pulled in automatically, you need to complete them in the My Sections and then My Profile area, and they'll be added to any documents where necessary going forward. As you go through, just press the next button to ensure that the information is saved correctly. Here you need to add the details of the products that you're installing to the panels, the inverter and the generation meter. Once you've added all that information in, press the next button. The calculated figures from the design calculations will be pulled through for you. And then finally on the confirmation page, you just need to add the name, job title and date that the um, handover certificate was completed. Once you're happy with that information, press the save button and then the print button and a PDF version of the handover certificate will be completed for you. And you can save that for your project as well. If you need to return to the technologies area, just click the back chevron and it'll take you back. If you do have any other questions about the solar PV section, please contact your consultant. But thanks for watching.